Hey guys, it's Jessica from Peace Love Books, and same here with some hate to love romances. I don't know if I would necessarily say like enemies to lovers. These are ones where they initially from the bat do not like each other. They don't get along. Sometimes there's some like hidden history that they have or history they have with their family or something that the other one did to them where they hate each other or they just like don't like each other and don't get along for whatever reason. So I have so much fun with this kind of banter, especially if it's a bit of a forbidden romance too. So there's always like a really great point when they break and like give in to each other. But before I get into the recommendations, I I want to thank the sponsor of this video which is Pippa Grant with Until It Was Love. This one is a hate to love romance with the heroine cannot stand the hero. He is her nemesis. She does not like him but she wants to date him and it's so fun because the hero is actually a rugby player and he was recently released from his team overseas so he's still trying to revive his career so he comes to the U.S. and he is her brother's new teammate. And the heroine is like, my brother has been meddling too much in my love life, so I'm going to date his teammate. And her brother hates him, so she just wants to get revenge on her brother, so she's like, why not date my brother's nemesis, even though she hates him too. He has a mustache that she absolutely hates. She's like, this is a great chance to get back at my brother, so she's going to date his teammate, even though she hates him. She is also going to be moving to London in a month, so she's like, what could it hurt? Just a couple dates, then she's out of the country, nothing is going to happen, nothing's going to go further. I mean, like, obviously they're going to fall in love, and so this one is the perfect hate to love romance where they have to date and she is putting her pride aside dating him to get revenge on her brother and he's a rugby player I love an athlete romance so for a really fun rom-com hate to love romance definitely pick up until it was love by Pippa Grant and thank you so much to Pippa Grant for sponsoring this video I also really love romances where they meet and like really do hit it off and then learn something about each other and then immediately hate each other so do your worst by Rosie Dannon is like that and this one does not have the best reviews I had so much fun listening to this audiobook. It takes place in Scotland in this like haunted house, which is like um, an amazing setting. The heroine is actually a like curse breaker, and the hero is an archaeologist. So he does not believe in like anything that she is like standing for and working for and believing in. They meet at a pub and they immediately like really get along and kiss, and they're like, oh my god, like I really like this person. Show up to work the next day, realize who each other are, and are like, heck no, absolutely not. I'm not doing this. You're a fake. You're a fraud. And they don't get along. And it is so fun. The heroine's like the real deal. And she's trying to show the hero, like, I know what I'm talking about. And so he's trying to like trick her into showing that she's a fraud and like ends up finding things because of her. And it was just really fun. And they end up trusting each other. And he has this really complicated past with his brother and his dad because they are also archaeologists. And I love an archaeologist romance. Like, I love National Treasure, Indiana Jones, Romancing the Stone like all those like action fun adventures like looking for artifacts and stuff I'm obsessed with so I had so much fun reading this and is it the best romance ever no but like the setting with the romance was so solid for me I had so much fun reading it and they bicker and banter and try to not like each other because I hate each other a new release I recently read is the catch by Amy Leah and this is mostly one-sided that the hero really cannot stand the heroine she's an influencer she is going to Canada and she is going like on a paid break trip but they got the dates mixed up and had her come early and they don't have room for her so instead of like wasting her own money by going back and coming back she finds a spot open at this like bed and breakfast that the hero actually owns and he cannot stand her when they first meet and there's an instance where like he agrees to like take her around and takes her on this boat trip and she literally like knocks him out and he has to go to the hospital and he's like you are literally a hot mess and I don't want anything to do with you and then though his family family comes and she has to lie about being his girlfriend in order to be able to see him at the hospital. His family's there overhears it so they think they're dating so they do have to fake date because his family's kind of falling apart and he feels responsible for them and wants them to come together and not disappoint them and so there is fake dating in here too so then it's forced proximity and a lot of times hate to love end up falling in love because they have to spend time together so just like with the Pippa Grant with the do your worst with this one like it's always they're forced to work together or forced to be around each other for a certain like end goal which I really love so this one was a lot of fun and I really had a lot of fun listening to this audiobook too one that I am like 
uh, absolutely obsessed with and you know I think I read this in February and I was like why did I wait so long because this is my favorite angsty author and that is Between the Devil and the Deep Blue Sea this one the heroine falls for her ex-boyfriend's brother so her ex-boyfriend's a hot mess. She is a famous singer and she is really at a hard place in her life where she just has to be put in these situations because of her manager and he doesn't care about her health and her well-being. And so her ex invites her to vacation with him. He's like, please come for my family. Like, I need you there. And she's like, okay, but nothing's gonna happen. And he ends up getting caught at like security. He had like pot in his bag and ended up getting arrested for whatever foreign country he was in. So now she's alone with his family and his brother. And his brother hates her. They bicker, they banter, they don't get along, and they go out of their way to be annoying to each other, but they both really like each other, and it's more so like, I hate you because I can't have you, and oh my god, the angst behind that hate, I am obsessed with. So they're on this family vacation together, and they have to spend a lot of time together, and they obviously start falling in love with each other, but he is a doctor in a war-torn country, and so, like, and she's a pop star. Like, they literally could never make it work, but they fall so hard for each other, and I was obsessed. I, like, stayed up until 1 a.m. reading this, and I like my sleep. I cannot run off with no sleep, so the fact that I stayed up so late reading this tells you I was obsessed. So read this if you want a good hate to love angsty romance. Another one I know I've talked about a lot but this is like the epitome of hate to love on one of their sides and that is Requiem by Callie Hart. Please read this. Like this book I put off like a year after I had friends read it and tell me I would love it. I didn't pick it up for a year. I finally did and this one the heroine literally is there to kill the hero. Like she was in an accident where her best friend passed away and she knows it's the hero's fault So she goes to this like school for training and is like training to literally Murder the hero so they finally say she's ready So she goes to this boarding school where the hero is and she knows she needs to watch him because she wants to kill him It's their romance and there's just so many twists and turns in here And I loved and as someone who loves romantic suspense, this was so fun to read I was I just could not put this book down. So please read this. I think I ended up reading it on my Kindle and I was obsessed so if you want one or the heroine and she blames him wholeheartedly for her friend dying so she just has this like intense hatred for him. He doesn't hate her though, which we figure out why. So, so good. Another hate to love where it has to do with like a past between them is Loving Romeo by Laura Pavlov. This one, Romeo really hates the heroine. So he has a gym and he has been taunted by this fighter. He's a retired fighter and this other fighter keeps on taunting him and he's like, listen, if I can get money and support my family, I'll do this one last fight. So he agrees to the fight. So now he has to train like hardcore for this fight. And the heroine owns a... Like, like coffee shop bakery by his gym and she actually went to school for nutrition and so she's gonna help him but they do not get along because the hero cannot stand her family her family did something to him when he was younger he's never told her and so she just thinks that he's just like this grumpy guy who just really doesn't like her but little does she know that he actually hates her family for a specific reason and they did wrong him and she is learning a lot about her family because they are very wealthy and she doesn't want to take handouts from them she's really determined to like make things on her own and learns a lot about them especially her brother is a recovering addict and she doesn't know like where the line is in helping him and making him help himself and so I really love the depth between the characters and their families and their history and the hero has an amazing friend group this is the best start to a series small town I loved it so so much I gave it five stars I love Laura but this book was so good then I have one that I'm recommending because I know it's super popular but it was very like out of my comfort zone and that is God of Fury by Rena Kent. I am not a huge Rena Kent fan because I'm not a huge bully fan and so many of her books are bully romances. I know she has a huge huge fandom. She is incredibly popular. She just doesn't usually write a genre I like but I had enough people tell me I would love God of Fury so I picked it up. It's MM. Oh my gosh it is so so good. So it's mostly one hero hating the other hero. He really taunts him because one hero is like a, I keep on using the word hot mess in this video, but he is a hot mess. He is dealing with a lot and he just does whatever he wants. He's like on the, the edge of like being kind of like a psychopath and he decides he likes the other hero. So that guy is openly... I don't remember if he's bisexual, but he openly likes men. And the other hero is very like, I only like women. I'm very straight laced. I'm very regimented. I have a routine. I have a plan. I'm never going away from it. And so the other hero keeps on taunting him. And so he's just like, cannot stand him. And he's just like, 
I don't want to be near you. Stop bothering me. Get out of my face. And he is so adamant that he hates him. But they end up hooking up and falling very, very deeply for one another because there's so much emotion in this book and a heartbreak in this book and it deals with so much. Trigger warnings for suicide and self-harm in here. It was so hard for me to listen to because I did listen to the audiobook, but I was so immersed in this. I remember sitting at my puzzle because I was doing a puzzle, not wanting to leave because I was like, I just need to listen to this audiobook. And doing a puzzle is a really great way for me to be able to pay attention to, to my audiobook because like, do you just like fit pieces together? It's when I have to like read things that it's really hard for me to listen. But if I'm just doing like an activity, I can just like zone out and zone into the audiobook. And so it was so good. It was so good. And the hero not wanting to tell anybody that he's with the other one because people think he hates him and having to pretend they're not together. It was really good. I really, really like this one, but be prepared for a very, very emotional romance. And the last one is one I talked about incessantly last year, but I have to bring it up again because if you haven't read it, please do. And that is The Puck Secret by G.N. Wright. This one is a hate to love romance because the heroine's father had an affair with the hero's mom. And the heroine's father's a politician and the mom was like his assistant secretary. And when it was found out, his mom was fired and he's a single mom supporting herself and him. And it's kind of like really left in a horrible situation situation. So the hero cannot stand her family. It cannot stand her, cannot stand her brother. Her brother is actually a teammate of his on the college hockey team. And so they are constantly butting heads. He just detests everything they stand for. And they actually start accidentally texting each other and not knowing it's each other. She texts something very vulnerable that she thought was going to her friend to the wrong number, which was his number. And they just start chatting and they start really falling for each other through text. And then they start like hate hooking up in real life, not knowing they're falling in love through text. Text. It gets so messy and it's so angsty, but it is so good. And the fact that they hate each other, but they're sleeping together, but they're like actually falling in love through text and being so vulnerable with each other. It's just like a recipe kind of for disaster, but they obviously work through it because this is a romance. It's going to have an HEA, but I loved it so much. And this is my special edition I got from a Fit Teacher Rachel launch and I love it so much, but it's so good. And those are my hate to love romance recommendations. Definitely check these out. Let me know if you have any other hate to love recs you would think I would love. Like I said, this definitely ends up being like very angsty because they're so confused with their emotions and they're like, wait, I should be hating you, but like I kind of don't hate you anymore and I kind of really like you. And so I love that tension and angst between them. So definitely check these out. And again, thank you so much to Pippa Grant for sponsoring this video. If you want a very hot rugby player that the heroine is supposed to hate, that her brother hates that she's like you know what I'm gonna put my hate aside and I'm gonna date you to get revenge on my brother pick this one up we have a mustached hero pick this one up if you want a hate to love romance on the heroine side and definitely check out until it was love by Pippa Grant and thank you so much to her for sponsoring this video and that's all I have as always thank you so much for watching and have a good day bye